Things change. No surprise there. Not always recognizably so. But often enough, change is noticeable. I was struck by that fact last week while looking at some pictures and home movies of Christmas celebrations taken many years ago. Apart from the obvious changes in size and shape, clothing, hairstyles, and ages of the celebrants, the decorations and the ornaments heralding the season seem different, simpler, unlike what we have today. The tree, the Christmas tree, was live then, but we didn't dare bring it into the house until Christmas Eve. Tinsel was meticulously hung amid the old glass ornaments handed down from a generation before. A train set chugged around a raised platform cluttered with cardboard neighborhoods. Paper pictures of Christmas scenes adorned the walls and the nativity scene, that had center stage. The whole scene appeared far removed, almost ancient, or at least old fashioned to my eyes. I viewed these pictures almost with melancholy as my mind wandered back to Christmas's past. How things change. Families at that time all appeared pretty much the same on Christmas morning. Midnight mass behind them, parents looked happy but exhausted, having stayed up most of the night assembling Christmas decorations and presents. Children squealing with delight, but equally exhausted having stayed up most of the night, pretending to be asleep as they waited for Santa. Mom in her apron, setting the Christmas table, Dad in his new sweater, supervising the holiday scene. Toys scattered everywhere with the kids darting about from one new thing to the other. Andy Williams and Nat King Cole on the record player. It was a family time as we waited for grandparents and relatives to arrive. And it all felt so good. But things change. By comparison, our Christmas celebrations today are a bit more polished and packaged. We still look forward to them, although the family rituals have been adapted somewhat. The season begins earlier and earlier each year and is assembled and disassembled with more precision and probably a bit of disinterest. We're much busier today. Life and its pace seem faster. So much of the tone of Christmas is dictated by shopping malls and a consumer society. But with all the changes that can be observed over the years, one thing has never changed, and that is the reason for the season. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you who is Christ the Lord. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to all who enjoy his favor. Christmas indeed has many aspects to it and many ways of presenting itself, some old fashioned, some cutting edge. But the Christmas season is in itself a beauty ever ancient, but ever new. Why? Because the birth of Christ spans the decades, the centuries, the millennia, from that first night in Bethlehem to this very moment, this very Christmas with a message that is timeless and unchangeable. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. What a gift we have received and still receive at Christmas. And no matter how we celebrate it, with the nostalgia of Christmas's past or the fast pace of Christmas's present, it is the gift that keeps on giving every day throughout the year. The news of great joy to be shared by the whole world as we read in the Gospel of Luke. Yes, the more things change, the more they remain the same. Glory to God. Merry Christmas and all God's blessings in the new year. <laughs>